hey you guys, Rena Wells here, your Divine Goddess Oracle, and I'm coming at you with a reading for Divine Counterparts, Twin Flames, Soulmates, all that stuff, but I really am fired up today. I was talking to one of my clients, I talk to my clients when you coach with me, you um, get me as a best friend on WhatsApp, and so I was talking to her, she's super psychic, super tapped in, a beautiful divine feminine, you can check her out at Mystic May Eternal Alchemist, uh, I'll throw a link to her channel down below, I put it in the community center, she, guys, go subscribe to her, she is tapped in, turned on, one of the rising divine, real, truly divine feminines that are out here, um, with, um, some amazing messages for spirit and for all of you, and just a, a beautiful, beautiful connection, so, she got me all fired up. We were going back and forth in regards to this calling of the Twin Flames, Divine Counterparts, and, so, and some really, like, healing messages that we were um, discussing. So, what I'm getting pulled to do is really to look at the healing journey that needs to happen in the Merkaba, in the one body, okay? And I talk a lot about this with my clients, is that if you are truly dealing with a Divine Counterpart, okay, and you really are dealing with a Twin Flame, if they go into darkness, you go into darkness and vice versa. It, it, it just is. It just is. So I'm getting pulled for a lot of healing messages and for both, for divine feminine and divine masculine. Now, spirit wants me to bring it into the unity, more or less, is what this reading is going to do. So we're going to see where the union is first. Um, never done this before. I'm just being channeled. Um, and then we're going to then see how it branches out like a tree um, and to see exactly where those energies are playing out. OK, so and I've never I've never actually done that, done it that way before, but that's what I'm getting pulled to do. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, if you guys are new to my channel and uh, please hit the like, share and subscribe button down below. It helps to circulate the message. I'm all about creating a healing tribe here. You guys really getting some really truth channel divine messages out there. If you want to know more about me and my services, everything is down below. Just know you guys, if you do book a reading, I just don't do tarot. OK, I channel. I get really direct messages. You can read what my clients are saying about me. All that information is down below. All right, so we're going to take a look here. Spirit, what is going on? What is the divine union messages? This is the work. Thank you, Spirit. This is the work that Spirit wants both aspects to do. Uh, so thank you, Spirit. We're going to pick one for divine masculine, one for divine feminine, and how to bridge that, okay? And then we're going to see in correlation to that overall message what is going on with divine masculine and what is going on with divine feminine okay so i'm getting a lot of downloads in regards to attachment okay um a lot what i see in the communities out there is very mental mental energies and, and messages that you guys are getting mental that the this is they're confused divine masculine is confused he doesn't know what to do this is i mean can we get let's get lower let's get deeper lower let's get deeper right let's get into the vibration you guys of that this is healing this is emotional this is the work, the depth work that you need to do. This is darkness that you need to face. Um, I take my clients into pure of their facing their darkness um, as I hold their hand through it because I'm telling you guys I've been through it and I understand it. I totally get it. And um, you ain't going to get to any place if you're not ready to face your darkness. Just like, just not. Like you're not. Um, yeah, let's see what Spirit says about the union right now. Okay. Wow, they gave me three cards, so we're going to say this is the, fir the first one at the bottom is going to be for the union. Be gentle with yourself in this union, okay? Kindness, softness. And trusting what the divine is bringing forward, okay? Really, really trusting what the divine is bringing forward. Be gentle. That's for the union right now, okay? For the divine masculine, I'm going to take this one. There's a potential gateway that's happening right now. Woohoo! That's to their healing. I feel a lot of divine masculines right now are in a dark place and are really, truly starting to look at the healing that they need to do. So it's opening a portal for them, okay? I am going to say, oh my God, it means it's, it's union. There are some twins that are coming into union, but this is a healing message, okay? Here, for divine feminines, we've got infinite blessings, okay? So... 
three three is the center of the uh, is the number that came out for the union. Being gentle with yourself. You guys can see that three three. Okay. So being gentle with yourself. Oh, I gotta take my phone off. Sorry, guys. And if it is a client, I do need to pause the video because my my coaching clients always come first, and we are okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, be gentle with yourself. Okay. Um, this is, we're hitting a, a transitional point right now. We're hitting a point where, um, spirit is saying that the divine feminine is ready to come into an amount of infinite blessings to hold the one body of the Merkaba. Okay. To hold the one body. Now, this is how I tell my clients and what, what happens with twin flames. Okay. Cause I, I've seen it. Um, they've been, they've shown me that, just how you are in your body. You have, you control your upper chakras and your lower chakras. It's very same in the etheric field is that you and your twin share one body that spans however geometry, ge geography, right? That's out there. So what happens is mostly the feminine energy controls the energy that's at the top part of the Merkaba and the masculine works in the lower chakras. Okay. So what's happening now is Divine feminines are coming into a place. They're, they've been gentle with themselves. They're learning to be gentle with themselves. And if you haven't divine feminines and you're watching this, it's really to learn how to be more, you know, gentle with yourself, okay? We've got infinite blessings here that there is manifestation coming for divine feminines that have been doing the work. And you guys know who you are. The hard work. Okay. You're looking at your lack. You're looking at why things are manifesting in your life. You're letting go of attachment. I'm seeing that a lot with some feminines here is that we are so focused that, you know, if we don't have our masculines outside of ourselves, if they're not here physically with us doing this, you know, there's an attachment. And I got a message from spirit that spirit, and I don't want to put a blanket for everybody, but I feel it's a lot is that spirit will not bring twins together until that there is a defined mission because that new vibration needs to come in. Spirit doesn't want you in a union when you're constantly fighting with each other. So if you were, if you feel that you're in a union with your twin and you're constantly fighting, I'm going to have to second guess that that's your actually twin flame. Okay. Cause twin flames are very sacred and healing with each other. And there's an ultimate underlying peace that happens with twins. Um, yes, there is some ego that comes up, but I mean, you guys, when you treat your twin, if it's truly your twin flame and you treat them like crap, like you, you, uh, you know, say something out of ego, it hurts you instantly. Okay. Cause it's an exact mirror. Okay. It doesn't hurt you 10 days later. It hurts you in that moment. It hurts you. You feel it. Trust me. I've told my twin off. I'm like, I ain't fucking dealing with you. I ain't doing this. And hurt me immediately. Did I respond and say, oh, you know, I totally like messed up right now. I left it <laughs> until I couldn't take the pain anymore. But I'm telling you, twin flames are never painful, abusive, hurtful like that. It, it hurts you immediately when you do it. Okay. And you have such a deep love for them. Okay. That it doesn't matter if they're with somebody else because you understand that it's not about you, right? You understand from a deeper place. And I, I'm not telling you to try and force it. Okay. If you're with somebody and you can't love that person that they're with, I would say second guessing that it's your twin. I would second guess it. I, I really would. Because from the moment that my twin said that he was with somebody, I honored that fully. I was like, I get that you're in a, in a, in a cycle. Spirit will not allow things to come together. Like spirit, God is in, in charge here. Okay universe. Okay. And to is totally in charge here. So this is about being gentle with yourself. There are infinite blessings coming here for the divine feminine right now. Okay. Divine masculine as you know, this portal of healing is definitely opening up for, for divine masculines. Okay. Um, cause I mean, I'm telling you guys, the people that I work with, like I see where they are, a lot of them do have karmic partners. Um, their twins do have karmic partners that they're dealing with, but I mean, I deal with a lot of, and, and they're like, I love them. I love them. You know? And I say that too. I love my twins part. I love her. Like truly like to be able to put up with his ego. I mean, girl, you got it going on. Like, 
you can keep them for that long until you're fed up. <laughs> and then I'll take over. But I ain't doing it. Like, I ain't. You know, this is the thing, you guys. We've got to detach from the outside and know your worth. Like, you are a temple goddess. Do you want somebody of a low vibration coming at you? Like, does it even matter? Like, look at the, the attachment. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying, look at the attachments that you continuously attach to your masculine because they're attached to a karmic. And do you not see that if it's a direct mirror, that the moment that you are having issues that they're attached to somebody means that they're going to stay attached because you're they're choosing you're choosing the same thing you are continuously choosing the same thing you continue to attach to your twin they will attach to somebody else it's that direct of a mirror now if you can't love that karmic person i would question if you are at a place of being in your true divine feminine energy okay um because that's how evolved twin flames are. There are divine counterparts. There are soulmates. There are other um, types of connections that mimic this for sure. But I'm talking specifically for twin flames, okay? In the in the peace, because it's a peace that's there that you cannot hurt them, okay? And it's not usually a physical anything physical. You know, it's it's a very energetic connection. Um, so I I would question those things, right? Um, because it's not mental, guys. It's energy, and it's spiritual, and it's very sacred. And I want to bring the sacredness back of exactly what twins are about, because it's running rampant that the sacredness is not there. Um, so as this divine feminine here is holding infinite blessings, okay, divine masculine's portal for healing is definitely opening up. I love that it's a big old damn tree. That's my weeping willow tree really beautiful the portal is opening up for divine masculine so let's take a look here spirit is saying let's take a look at what else this portal spirit for divine masculine they're being very gentle with themselves they're holding themselves back yeah they want to travel and communicate and come forward but they they want we're going to see what else is happening here because that's just one thank you yeah okay divine masculines yet yeah, they quickly want to move away from pain and move towards balance so this is what they're doing right now they, they're running for this portal guys all right. This is this is the um, this is the wave that's coming here for those that are getting close to union. OK, we've got the eight of wands here with the nine of swords quickly moving out of pain and taking a leap of faith into moving towards true balance here. OK, so that's really beautiful. They're, they're done with pain. They know they need to take this leap of faith and they're doing it in a very gentle, as gentle as possible. OK, now. Divine feminines are really getting infinite blessings. You guys, if abundance hasn't started to wash upon you, it is starting. You're going to start seeing shifting very soon. Okay. So let's see infinite blessings for divine feminine. What is going on here? You're going to, and, and blessings don't come just in like monetary or um, it could be in connections that new people that you're meeting. It can be in um, just your energy opening up and your channels opening up. It could be, you know, a conversation that you just recently had with somebody somehow something's opened in your vibration something is coming you've opened you're able to receive now so this is where divine feminines are really coming into you know and again guys don't try and make this fit you'll know if it, you feel it and it resonates here so divine feminines we've got yeah yeah and whoop of course spirit always does that to me it doesn't matter where i'm sitting <laughs> like it just happens okay hold on guys We've got quite a few cards here for Divine Feminine. So, Six of Cups, someone from your past, okay? Soulmate connection, infinite blessings coming in this soulmate connection, okay? Because you've gone in and you've done the work, okay? Again, you know who you are because, I'm going to tell you, how do you know that you've done your work? Your family issues are healed. I'm just going to say, you get along with your family. You're no longer in pain. You're no longer in pain about your twin, no longer in pain okay if you're having pain about your twin i don't feel this reading is for you okay i'm really this is what spirit's coming through um and it, it definitely just watch it for sure um um and you know like and subscribe and all that jazz because it just depends on what channel is coming through so i'm feeling that these are the ones that are coming very close to union because you've gone in you've done that work you've healed your family issues okay or you're really damn close to healing your family issues spirit is also saying that um you're either close to mission work or getting on on mission work okay you're humbled you're humbled and serving god and however that looks if you're starting or you're really starting to get into that place okay these are the tribe people that i'm calling out to because 
we're not reading reversals here, so I'm not going to take reversals. And plus, these fell on the ground. Yeah, you've gone within. You've done the. You've done the healing work out of conflict and heartache and coming out of the cold. Okay, because you've gone within and have done the healing work. Okay, so that's you're not going to be out of the cold anymore. There's no more heartbreak. You you're done with conflict in your life. Conflict doesn't happen with these divine feminines. Okay, you may get a little low at times, but then it's like, okay, I got to heal that. I'm out of flow. I need to heal that. Okay, something's not right here. I need to heal this. So that that's really what I'm getting. It's like I'm defeated in my ego. Okay, I haven't met myself here at this place yet. And I, this is causing some type of heartbreak in my life that I'm going to go within and continue healing. So that's the cycle that these divine feminines are in. They're no longer blaming their masculine. They're no longer blaming their karmic. They're no longer blaming anybody outside of themselves. It's not mental. They've realized the healing, what's destined, that they have to keep leveling up to this point and continuously being gentle with themselves. Okay, so that's the messages that I'm getting right now. Now, this is also, um, I should have forgot to mention, I just jumped right in there. This is for the Scorpio moon coming up. Okay. So this is the preamble coming up to the Scorpio moon. Okay. So spirit, what are the actions here that divine masculine are really moving towards? Untrapping themselves. Okay. They, right now they're not stable for actions. Okay. They're still feeling somewhat trapped. Yeah. They're still dealing with dark. Okay. Whoop. See what I'm talking about? Seriously, spirit. We can stop that now. Barrier. Okay. So Spirit is saying here we've got Knight of Wands, the moon. My hair is falling out. Um, the moon and the three of pentacles. So what's going on here? A little bit in and out energy, still feeling trapped in their darkness, and they're not really ready to network with you. Okay. Like, yeah. And that's okay. So that's their action right now because they're still dealing with, they want to move quickly out of this pain to take a leap of faith. That's their intention right now. Okay. So right now they're unstable. They still feel somewhat trapped in their darkness. We're going to clarify a little bit more. All right. And they, they want to network. Okay. They want to be as a team player with you, but they don't, they have to go through their dark first. It's, it's just not something that's going to happen right now. Okay, so let's do some clarification. We're going to take some reversal spirits out of this, okay? Let's clarify. Where is their entrapment? And it could be karmic. It could be, and karmic doesn't need to be a partner. It could be their work. It could be where they are, a position in their life. It could be um, family, friends, a wife, children, whatever it is. A pet. Pets. Yes, pets get in. And I've, I've had a client where uh, their divine counterpart was highly allergic to cats. And the other one had like something like nine cats. So not that many, but you know, it happens, you know, how are they going to come into union if they thought, you know, yeah. So anything can be a karmic cycle, something that needs to end. Okay. So spirit, can you please clarify here for divine mask? Cause this is action that they're unable to action right now. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to show you, we've got two of wands. We've got the four of cups. We've got the three of swords, which is what divine feminines got on the other side. Okay. We've got ace of cups in reverse and we've got queen of cups in reverse. So a lot of blocked energy to the feminine feelings here and the emotions still experiencing unrequited love, not able to, um, you know, they're trying to come out of this heartbreak. They're still in a place of apathy looking ahead, but they're still, their focus still isn't switching. So they're, I feel what's happening is they're going in this in and out. They're kind of like in between worlds. They're like, Seeing the, the hand of God handing me this cup, I, I know I need to end this heartbreak. I'm done with the pain. Like, they're really at a place where they're just really done with the pain and done with requ unrequited love, and they're really done with feeling emotionally blocked. Okay, so the two of wands is here that they're starting to actually look, how can I move forward? How can I move through this darkness? Yeah, and I'm going to work damn hard at this too, okay? We've got eight of pentacles. So divine masculine is what they're actioning is really how they're going to plan ahead to move forward. Okay. So the overall energy is that this portal is opening up. They want to end pain. So that's the main thing. They want to end their pain. They don't want to be in a painful place anymore. None whatsoever. So they're ready to end the heartbreak. Are they looking towards their feminines? No, they're kind of blocked off to their feminines right now. They know that they're not ready and they know that they need to come ready. Okay. Let's see what's going on with divine feminines here. Because they're still going and doing the work. They're they're reaping the benefits here. Spirit is bringing them a lot of benefits. Spirit! 
Seriously, we've got the moon in reverse. So they've got the moon here. I love how this, you know, the masculine's got moon, the moon, remember? So they've got the moon in reverse. That means all that dark shit's coming out, feminines. You're really, to, you're ready. That's why you keep going in. You're like, okay, I'm on this healing journey. Here we go. Uh, my secrets are coming out. I'm going within. I'm looking at stuff. Look at the same cards that Divine Masculine got. We've got a bunch of flipped out here. Eight of Wands. Quickly moving through your dark. All right? As you're quickly moving through your dark, so is your Divine Masculine. They quickly want to get out of the pain. They have... See, this is the exact mirror. These Divine Feminines know the connection. They keep going within. Whenever they feel heartbreak, conflict, and feeling left out of their connection, they go back into God. Back in. And back into healing and looking at the dark, okay? Yeah, they're a wounded warrior right now, but they're not holding the victim mentality, okay? They're like, yes, I've gone through this shit. I'm still standing, though, and I'm still doing it. What other cycles do I need to end? What other cycles are coming forward that I can now close up They're on the verge of closing off some very big cycles. Okay. Divine feminine here, really moving through the dark stuff very quickly, very quickly. And that's mirroring now for divine masculines here in regards to they're working hard, realizing how can I move forward now? I've got, I've got to untrap myself from this, my own darkness, my emotions. I know I'm not ready to go yet forward. I know I'm still feeling unrequited love. I know I'm blocking emotions still, but I need to end this pain now. I need to end this pain. I need to take this leap of faith, and I need to quickly move through this pain. And they're going to move through it like that because divine feminines in the one body is being gentle, is dealing with it, and is honoring her temple. Okay, guys, when I tell my divine feminines that I work with, it's about honoring your temple, okay? You got to look at the vibration that you're dealing with. If you're dealing with a masculine who can't be in a divine masculine energy, do you want that inside of you? Literally. Girls, men, whatever. Okay. <laughs> but you got to look at it that way. No attachment to the sex. No attachment to what it looks like physically. Vibration, guys. We got to work in vibration because let's get rid of the label. Would you, if you, the way that your divine masculine is right now with anybody else out there, Take the label away. Would you take that person in? I'm going to say hell no. So why am I attached to the label of twin flame? Just because he's my divine counterpart who God made me with. I wouldn't take anybody else that way. So why do I need to lower my standards? Why do I need to lower what I know my temple is worthy of? Just saying. Because it got to let go of the attachment, guys. They're not ready vibrationally. You got to look at the vibration. So how much are you honoring your temple, right? Because are you now just attached to the name of the twin flame? Or are you actually ready to level up in your vibration and honor it so hardcore that no matter who comes to you, they know that you are a temple goddess and you come on humble knee, baby. That's what I say. Come on humble knee. I, you know, we don't go through this work. You guys just yay bring me more darkness just keep bringing it i just no 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 this is deep work right you gotta really clear your stuff and you will reap the rewards trust me you will reap the rewards spirit doesn't want to say anything else about that all right so let's see the outcome here now this is for um like i said this is scorpio moon that's coming which is like may 18th the scorpio full moon so this is the actions this is leading up to the moon okay so from now until the 18th and then we'll do a preamble a pre this is preamble the post one okay so this came up in reverse it flipped up it flipped this way I don't know if you guys saw that so the actions that they need to take is ending codependency spirit wanted me to take that they're still very codependent these masculines are codependent guys codependency cannot happen between twins not at all cannot happen will not happen spirit won't let you come together if you're in a twin if you feel you're in a twin flame connection and you're still having codependency between you i would question the connection guys okay you cannot be in union with codependency it won't last very long it won't last very long it's apps the mirror is way too strong way too strong for you to be able to coincide together I, I, I really, truly don't believe that they can. Um, I just don't swear. It's like, no, it's such a holy connection. They protect it with everything and bring you together when you really can work out that stuff. Okay? Because it can become very, like, 
painful in a way that it's Marian. It's not abusive. It's not abusive. Spirit showed me like with Mama Ayahuasca, like when my twin would be there and we were both purging. <sighs> I couldn't even look at him. I'm like, oh, seriously, dude. Like I, I turn away. I'm like, I can't handle this because I'm feeling the intensity. Like your own pain, you feel their intensity that much more, especially when you're really super awake and you're on ayahuasca. <laughs> like, you tell, like, Oh my God. I'm like, I can't handle this. I need to go outside. I can't be in his vibe. Um, run, you run and you don't do it in a mean way. You're not like, Oh, I hate you. Eh, abusive. That's Vic. That's no, this is a lovely guys for you to come into union with your twin. That victim stuff really needs to go. Or, I mean, you got to start working on it. If you're having a lot of trouble with it, trust me, I've been through the dark of the dark. Hit me up with a coaching session. If you're really, truly willing to work with a coach, um, I'm kind of hitting my threshold. I can usually just do on average about 10 clients. I have maybe about eight right now. So yeah. Okay. Let's take a look. So they're ending codependency here. <laughs> okay. On a lot of other shit, but we're not going to take all that. Oh, spirit says let's take that. No, we'll take it back. Okay. They're, they're saying if the world comes back, it's ours, but they're ending cycles, but they want to end the codependency. So what else spirit coming up to the full moon in Scorpio, May 18th. What else will divine mask is their actions, their outcomes. So they're, they they want to end codependency. Okay. Yeah, they're still going to be codependency. They're not going to be able to communicate. So they're still working at their own dishonesty here. So they're not going to be quite ready to action really anything. Okay, by the 18th, there's still a lot of codependent patterns. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in their favor, though, now. Okay, so things are slowly taking off here. That's going to bring up a lot of their own deception. What about this spirit about the codependency and the deception? Can you clarify here? Yeah. So here they're ending relationships. We've got relationship decisions in reverse. Okay. So that means that it's over relationships in their life that they've, that they've been codependent to done karmic cycles done. They're looking at the deception behind it. They've avoided it in the past. Now they're not being, they're being honest with how it's, how it's appearing. What's keeping them in a codependent pattern. They're looking coming up to May 18th about finalizing, really putting this forward of ending certain toxic connections in their life. Is there anything else? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's been holding them back from their balance, from getting offers from spirit and from their divine, from this, from stability and manifesting what they desire. Okay. We've got temperance, the page, of pentacles. Okay. could be children involved and balance life with their children. If they've got children, if it's not about any offers coming in, it's like, things are so stagnant. They're not even getting any kind of offers. We've got queen of pentacles in reverse. who I see is like a beautiful, um, stable energy, but they're unstable in their manifesting abilities. They're not able to create any kind of change. They are so stuck. And is this stuck that's going to force them to seek the balance in their life. Okay. So coming up to the new, to the full moon in Scorpio, May 18th, this is going to become physically manifested that they're going to make decisions about their karmic cycles. Oh, and what about divine feminine here? Guys, what about divine feminine? What is going on here? Divine feminine. What are they going to action? Look at this two of cups. Okay. And the king of cups. Okay. They're still stuck about moving on. So you got to end the cycle. So this is what's going to happen. This looks all pretty at first when you bring the two of cups, but then when you add it, it's like, ha ah, no, I lied. <laughs> Spirit's like, just tricks on you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's nice. And then I'm like, oh, you want me to keep that in reverse? Okay. Um, so <laughs> this is beautiful because coming up to actioning May 18th for the full moon in Scorpio. Okay. Which is a lot about relationships, guys. They're saying here, Oh, look, the two of cups. Okay. The two of cups, this beautiful union, the masculine here and his emotions are going to be coming forward, but no divine feminines because of this union and these emotions, you're going to be stuck, not knowing how to move forward without your masculine spirit is like saying, end that cycle now. Okay. You're still avoiding it. You're still thinking, well, maybe there's hope. Maybe that it will happen at the end of this month. I'm looking at all these readings. They're saying reconciliation again, guys, we got to get deeper. They can't happen until you are fully in a faithful place and living from spirit, you and God together fully. No more attaching to the outside world. Not going to happen that way. So you're stuck in be being able to move forward and by ending this cycle. Okay. So 
the cycle, any cycles that you have emotionally tied to your masculine in this union coming up to the full moon need to be released to spirit that you've let go all control and that you are grieving and letting go and okay. Never being with them in this incarnation ever. And I say it like that because you've got to become whole in yourself. You cannot depend on anybody on this planet, but God, nobody, not your parents and people are there to support you. That spirit definitely brings people into your life to, you know, form these alliances and connections. But Spirit wants you to be self-reliant and to be that your one person, that one that you, you need to attach to anything is spirit, not anybody else. And so a lot of feminines coming up to this full moon are going to be really struggling in this letting go process. Okay. That's why they're saying be gentle with yourself. Okay. Um, let's get another healing message. that's going to come up for the full moon spirit. Can we please have one each, please? One for the masculine, just to close off this reading. So, guys, that's the update here coming up to the moon. There is a lot of changes that are happening. The divine masculines are definitely moving in and looking to take a leap of faith, but they're still working through their dark stuff. But they realize coming up to the moon, they are about to release these cycles, if they haven't already, okay, to gain balance and to gain more stability in their life. We're going to do a follow-up. So make sure you hit the like and share, subscribe, guys. Subscribe to the channel because so you don't miss these updates. And um, let's take a look and see what's going on for the divine masculine spirit. Can we have... It's way too many. Can we have one, please? One. Thank you. Oh, they're giving me three. Are you giving me three? You're giving me three like you did before. I love when they do that. Okay, the bottom card they're saying is for the union, okay? Coming up to the full moon, closing off this cycle. Okay, if you do this work, just what was said here in the healing journey, you will gain empowerment. Okay, this is really beautiful. You become the manifester of your world. Look, she's like a goddess controlling the earth and the ocean and the sky and everything. You will have full empowerment, okay? Masculine energy will be able to clear out the old. They're finally able to do those choices. That's what's physically going to manifest, you guys, clearing out the old and divine feminine. You're going to be able to contemplate in how you want to move forward, okay? You're going to be in a place of, okay, I've healed this. I've let him go. Now, how can I move forward, spirit? That's what's coming up right when the full moon hits. That's what's going to come out, out of this. All right, you guys. That's the reading. Much love. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. If you're looking for a coach, I intuitively guide my um, clients to face their dark, hold their hand, channel personalized tools for you. I have a free coaching session if you want to see what that's like, but please only book if you're seriously looking for a coach. Okay, I take my time very seriously and I take my work very seriously to serve all of you. And, um, or, you know, book a reading with me. That would be awesome. Take a look at what my clients are saying. All that information is down below. And again, check out um, Mystic May, the eternal alchemist. She's amazing. And love you guys. Love you hard. Love me back. Love me all that shit. <laughs> love me all that shit. And um, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.